Hey Lauren. Hi Gideon, how are you? I'm very good thank you, I've had a really nice week. How are you doing? I'm okay but I've actually had a bit of trouble with my friends this week and I've been feeling a little bit lonely. Oh no, that's really sad. Do you know that God can help with that? What do you mean? Well, in the Bible there's a story about a man named Elisha. Would you like to hear it? Oh yes please. Well, a woman came to Elisha and she said, my husband is dead. You know that he loved the Lord. But now the man that he owed some money to has come to take my two boys and make them his slaves. Elisha said to the woman, how can I help you? Tell me what you have in your house. And the woman said, I don't have anything in my house. I only have one jar of oil. Just one jar of oil? Just one jar. But Elisha said to her, go and get empty jars from all of your neighbours. Don't just get a few, get as many as you can. Then go back to your house, close the door behind you. Only you and your sons must be in the house. And then pour the oil into each one of the jars, setting the full ones aside. And what happened next? Well, she did exactly that. She went back to her house, closed the door behind her. Only her and her sons were in the house. And then she began pouring the oil. One by one, they filled each jar of oil right to the top. After a short while, she said to her sons, have we got any more jars? And they went, no, we have filled up every single jar. And at that moment, the oil stopped pouring. She then went back to Elisha and told him everything that had happened. And he said, go, sell the oil that you have and pay the money that you owe. And then you and your sons can live off the rest. Okay, well, that's a really good story, but what does it have to do with me? That's a great question because we probably don't need God to give us some oil, right? But there are lots of things that we can ask God for. Things like peace, courage, patience. All of these things we can ask God to provide mm. for us. So maybe we should try asking God for some of those things. Mm. Okay, maybe I'll give that a go this week. And do you think we could talk about it in church? That's a great idea. Why don't we do that right now? <laughs> Bye! Bye. <laughs>